Welcome to our next video. We're talking about expected rates of return. We're talking about Markowitz portfolio theory. Because as a part of Markowitz portfolio theory, we need to compute expected rates of return of different shares and we need to compute the expected rate of return for the entire portfolio. So here is what we need to know. First, we need to compute, we need to be able to compute the expected return of share I. And after this, if we compute, as we compute all expected returns of every different share, we need to put them into a portfolio, say 30% share A, 70% share B, and then we get an expected return of this portfolio. So what's important? As we see here, we have two different shares and in the first situation, say in the first month, this is the first month, this is the second month, that is the third month. We have a return of 1% of share A for share A and of 2% for share B in the first month. In the second month, the situation is different and so on and so on. So the expected return for share A, of course, is 1 plus 2 plus 6 divided by 3, because there are three different situations. And so it is 1 plus 2 equal to 3, 3 plus 6 equal to 9, 9 divided by 3 gives us the, where did I put it, gives us the expected return of share A with 3%. 1 plus 2 plus 6 divided by 3 equal to 3%. Then looking at share B, we have the same situation with different numbers. 2 plus 4 plus 6 equals 12. 12 divided by 3 equal to 4%. So the expected rate of return of share B is equal to 4%, whereas the expected rate of return of share A is equal to 3%. That's the first result. First of all, we need to calculate expected rates of return for every different share. Now, we're talking about Markowitz portfolio theory. We need to be able to, to calculate a portfolio, a portfolio consisting of two different, say two different shares or three different or four different shares. Like if we look at it with two different shares or first the formula itself, of course the expected return is the sum of this. We need to multiply. We need to multiply the return of share A by the portion. And so let's look at it this way. Let's look at it this way. If we have two different weights 50% and 50% is not different, but weight A, weight of share A and weight of share B. Let it be 50% each. <clears throat> then, of course, which means it's a portfolio. It's a portfolio consisting of share A and share B with the same weights. So, weight of share A, 50%, 0 0.5, multiplied with the expected with the re expected return of share A plus 0 0.5 multiplied with the expected return of share B which is equal to 4% gives us the expected return of the portfolio with 3.5%. That's only one result. That's only the first result if the if the weights are 50% each. If they are different, for example, 30% of share A and 70% share B, the result, of course, is different. The result is closer to the expected return of share A because the weight is closer to 100% for share B. Again, 0.3 weight of share A multiplied with the expected return, share A, 
plus and so on and so on gives us a, an expected return of the portfolio 3.7%. That's the first thing that is very important for you to understand consist, concerning Markowitz portfolio theory. We'll be talking in a different video. We'll be talking about variance, about standard deviation, covariance, and so on and so on. Thank you for watching. Yeah.